Finding a good washer is difficult, and let me tell you, this isn't one of them. Today I'm going to review three different washers that are actually identical to each other. The first one is the Crosley model number ZAW47115G, which is identical to the Maytag Commercial Technology MVWB765FW which is identical to the MVWB766FW. Not to be confused with the Maytag commercial washer that we all know and love, which is an MVWP575GW. You're probably wondering what could be so bad with this washer. It's a Maytag and it has an agitator. <laughs> the problem is, is that it's fake. It doesn't really work but we'll get into that a little bit later. Let's go over some specs. This washer is a pretty middle of the road washer and it costs around $630, although it has an MSRP for a lot more. It has a 4.7 cubic foot tub, 11 cycles, and is a little on the heavy side at 159 pounds, relatively speaking. It does have a 900 RPM spin speed, and it does come with a 10 year warranty, but it only covers the motor and tub only, which is essentially worthless. It does come with the industry standard one year warranty. Let's go over the pros. The one thing I like about this machine is that it's really good looking and that's pretty much where it ends. Now let's go over the cons. First and most importantly, it just plain doesn't work. This washer is the biggest disaster of a top load washer I have seen. It has incredibly long cycles. And the fact that they put that fraudulent looking agitator just kind of ticks me off. They put it there just for sales pitch. It doesn't actually serve any function. The last thing that I hate about this machine, among other things, is that it has poor lint or pet hair removal. If you have pets, this is not the washer for you because it cannot remove lint or pet hair. This washer has a, quite a few cycles. It's got max, clean, colors, bedding, sanitize cycle, cold water wash, wrinkle control, delicates, rapid wash, and a clean washer feature. It does also have a couple of modifiers like extra rinse and this deep clean feature, which actually is kind of a useless option. And then the new thing is like sanitize with Oxy. The reason that a lot of manufacturers are putting this Oxy clean additive or option with OxyClean is because washers have become so terrible that they, they rely more and more on chemicals to clean their clothes instead of actual water and mechanical action. I will admit I did not run a lot of loads through this washer. Basically by my second load I knew what this washer was all about and it's basically trash. I tested a similar washer. It was an MVWB785 or something like that maybe about a month or two ago, and it was equally as trashy. So I did not have high hopes for this washer either. As you can see inside the drum, it's pretty much identical to the Maytag version, just minus the insignia. The only other difference is that the Maytag washer has a glass lid and the Crosley version just has a regular steel lid. What few loads I did do, I'll pretty much show you what they're all about. This is at 20 times normal speed. Look at that orange microfiber towel. Look at these microfiber towels. Yep. And that was pretty much the most of all of my cycles. This thing took two and a half hours to basically not do anything. I feel sorry for the shirts at the bottom of the washer that just got annihilated by that wash plate. It's hilarious how you look at this corkscrew agitator. It pushes the clothes up and then just pulls them back down again and effectively does nothing but shake them a little bit. No matter how I tried it, it basically was the same thing every time. This happened to be the deep fill and I got a little bit of turnover with this machine on the deep fill only, but definitely not a respectable amount. And what did I wind up with at the end of my wash load? A bunch of soap stains. Yes, that's right. This washer cannot even remove soap. I will say that due to the high concentration of soap and water at the beginning of the cycle, it did a pretty respectable job of removing a little bit of dirt, but it didn't do a good job rinsing anything away. This washer should have done an excellent job getting the dirt off of my knees, but it clearly did not. 
And if you look at my pants, you'll notice a bunch of lint just lingering around. Completely unacceptable. It's one thing if it leaves a bunch of lint and gets your clothes clean, but it's another thing if it doesn't get your clothes clean and leaves you a bunch of lint. That's not a good mix for me. All of my pants were pretty consistently not cleaned and I had a bunch of soap streaks just about on every pair of pants that I had. When I lifted the lid on this washer, it stunk like soap. One Tide Pod is all I put in this washer and it seemed like it doubled the potency of it. I don't know what to say guys, this washer is trash. I just don't understand how this washer is so highly rated. I mean, I, most review sites, this thing has like a 4.7 star rating with thousands and thousands of reviews. What's going on with you people? Do you guys not know what a good washer is anymore? Maybe we've reached an era in our life where this is a good washer. Either way, I'm certainly glad this isn't in my basement. Thanks for watching.